It is important for me that people remember, but there has to be a purpose for remembering. Estelle Laughlin was only 10 years old when the Germans invaded her native Poland in September of 1939. She and her older sister were sent with their parents to live in the infamous Warsaw Ghetto, a walled portion of the city where some 400,000 Jews were forced to live in an area a little over one square mile, and where disease, starvation, and random killings were common. You never knew if you're going to see another sunrise. In 1942, the Germans began emptying the ghetto, sending an estimated 300,000 Polish Jews to Nazi concentration camps. Estelle's father, Samek, built a bunker in which he and his family could hide while he helped organize a resistance movement. And during this chaotic time, he somehow arranged for Estelle and her sister Frida to be tutored. I think it was his way of denying that his children had no future. Eventually, the bunker in which Estelle and her family were hiding was exposed by a bomb and they were all captured. Samek was sent to the gas chamber. But the women were chosen for forced labor. Estelle recalls working in a series of munitions factories until January of 1945, when they were finally liberated by Russian forces. We see the uh, Soviet army and we run up to them and we say, can you imagine how long we have been waiting for the day? And they put up a hand and they said, sorry, we have a war to fight. And they did. Less than five months later, the war was finally over. And eventually, Estelle and her sister would make their way to the United States, where both would graduate from college and become teachers. Now Estelle has written a book about her experience titled Transcending Darkness, A Girl's Journey Out of the Holocaust. It's painful to talk about it and it's painful to listen to it, but we have to be reminded from time to time what happens to uh, us and to society when we accommodate ourselves to tyranny. I think that we learn from one another. Estelle now travels the country sharing her incredible story. And typically, the audience is full of teenagers and young adults, many of them about the same age Estelle was when Germany surrendered. It was inspiring to hear how much faith she still had in humanity and how she kept living and wanted to teach and still had aspirations, even though she lived through such a difficult time. I am glad and I am so proud that they want to be connected with the past so that they can make the future better for themselves and for others. But Estelle's purpose here isn't to sell books. It's to make sure people remember and for those memories to help shape the world we live in today. We still have so many people who are suffering cruelties and, and injustice and uh, we still haven't learned much from history. My purpose is not to curse the darkness of the past, but to hopefully illuminate the future.